Henry Ward Ranger was born and raised in New York, so he grew up close to the Brooklyn Bridge. It was completed in 1883. This impressive structure was still the longest suspension bridge in the world when Ranger painted it 16 years later. Brooklyn Bridge could almost be like a reminisce of his childhood. Painting something familiar was what Ranger loved, so him choosing the Brooklyn Bridge was no surprise. Brooklyn Bridge is a great image of how much more there is to the city of Brooklyn, other than just the famous bridge. The bridge is almost in the background of the painting, making it look not as important and grand as most people think it is. Henry Ranger originally painted the Brooklyn Bridge solely to, de to depict the landscape around and including the Brooklyn Bridge. He loved landscapes and thought the bridge was beautiful and incredible, but believed that the industrial side was being looked at more than the beauty of it as a whole. Although it was the longest bridge in the world at the time, he was not painting it to show the size or how, or how grand it was. I think that today it is thought of just another landscape painting, instead of how it was originally viewed. I think this painting could be interpreted in a few different ways if you didn't know the, that Ranger was painting it for the view. Some people thought that the bridge has nothing to do with the painting, but in reality, that was the whole point. The context of this painting really helps the viewer understand the point, of Ra the point that Ranger was trying to get across. The painting was painted during the Industrial Revolution, so it completely makes sense for the subject of the painting to be the Brooklyn Bridge.